Hi, I'm Jenny. I study biology and today I'm visiting agroscience in Neustadt an der Weinstraße. In a moment I will meet Thorsten Mantai, who will show me how plants can be genetically modified. Today he will show me a special method of gene transfer using agrobacteria. Hello, Jenny. What kind of plant do you work with in this laboratory? We work with tobacco plants. Why tobacco in particular? Tobacco is a well-studied plant that we use as a model plant. Also, gene transformation works very well with this plant. What trait is it that you want to genetically transfer to the tobacco? We're trying to produce active agents for medical use of the plants. Come on, let me show you our agrobacteria. These are the agrobacteria. They're a naturally occurring species of soil bacteria which are able to transfer genes to plant cells. Why do they do that? The bacterium reprograms the plant and causes the plant to form a tumor in which the bacterium can then grow. We take advantage of this natural capacity of the bacterium to transfer any other genes of interest. The genetic information that the bacterium is to transfer to the plant is stored on a circular piece of DNA, also called plasmid. Does this plasmid still contain the genes that usually cause the plant cells to form a tumor? We've removed the tumor-inducing genes, so this plasmid here is now disarmed. We can use it straight away for integrating our genes of interest. In order to do this, we have to first of all cut it open using special enzymes, integrate our gene of interest and seal the DNA circle. Maybe you'd like to do this. And how do we get our plasmids carrying the gene of interest back into the bacterial cells? That's what I'll show you now. Here, these are our agrobacteria. We'll treat them with an electric pulse, which will allow the plasmid DNA to enter the bacterial cells. In order to do that, I'll add the plasmid DNA that we prepared to the suspension of agrobacteria. And if you like, you can trigger the electric pulse. Okay. And here comes the final step, where the bacteria transfer their genes to the plant cells? Exactly. In order for this to happen, we'll punch out leaf discs from the tobacco leaves. We'll then place them on these filter papers, which are soaked with our bacteria suspension. The punching leaves cells on the edges of the leaf discs wounded, and that's where the agrobacteria will enter the plant cells. Afterwards, we'll place the leaf discs on a culture medium. Here, the transfer of DNA from the agrobacterium to the plant cell will take place and the leaf discs will be genetically transformed. Here in the climate chamber we grow our plants. You can see different stages of development, starting with the leaf discs, then the very small plants, and finally fully grown young tobacco plants. And how do you know which of the cells were successfully transformed? That is, which of them received the new gene of interest? Additionally to our gene of interest, we also transferred a marker gene that produces a fluorescent dye, which we can see under the microscope. Here, at the laser scanning microscope, I can show you what happened to the leaf discs that I transformed yesterday. I can already see something. You can see the red fluorescent dye of the agrobacterium. And what are the green dots? 
Those are the dyed cell nuclei of the plant cells. You mean the cell nuclei of the transformed plant cells? Yes, exactly. So then the transformation worked. Thank you very much, Torsten. You're welcome.